Hello, sixth grade scientists. Last class, we really focused on how, um, what's underneath Earth's plates and how the plates move. So the very first thing that we looked at was the plate, the mantle, which is underneath the plate. And we found that it is soft, solid rock. So it's underneath the plate and it's soft, solid rock. So its characteristics are similar to silly putty because it's able to move and it's a soft solid as opposed to the hard solid rock of the plates. So then we looked at how they move um, in, in kind of more detail. So we did a couple investigations on the simulation and we found out the difference between convergent and divergent. And one thing that's the difference is convergent boundaries move towards each other, whereas divergent boundaries move away from each other. So that's important to know. But there's also interaction between the plate and the mantle at the plate boundary. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to talk about the the key concepts that we learned last class. So um, at divergent boundaries, rock rises from the mat mantle and hardens, and it adds soft, solid rock to the edges of both plates. And then as it cools, it becomes hard, solid rock. So that's at divergent boundaries. And at convergent boundaries, one plate moves underneath the other plate and sinks into the mantle. So they come together and then one plate is sinks into the mantle and is destroyed. It's actually so hot that it melts. So well, like I said, we are going to learn more about the rock cycle in rock transformations, which is our next unit after Christmas. So now I want us to look at the um, two questions that were on the exit ticket last class. So the first question talks about, has Dr. Steiner and her team have been using GPS to track two plates that are moving towards each other? So which diagram shows what is happening at the place where the plates are moving towards each other? So we know that it looks similar, the, the diagram that we've really seen and the way we saw it in the model, it's one of the, these two. So we're just going to check A and B to make sure that we can for sure eliminate them. Two plates are hitting each other and the plates are breaking into pieces, creating sand. That's not what happens. So we can eliminate A right away. And B says two plates are pushing against each other, causing the edges to bend upwards. That also not what we learned about what happens. And so we're going to read these two and then make a decision. This says one plate is going underneath the other plate and sinking into the soft solid rock below. Well, we know that the mantle is soft solid rock and we know that one plate does sink into the mantle. So this is probably the choice, the best choice, but we're gonna read D as well. And it says one plate is going underneath the other plate and sinking into the ocean below. We know there's not ocean below because we know that the outer layer is hard solid rock after you dig way down, that the outer layer of the earth is hard solid rock and then below that is the mantle, which is soft solid rock. So the best choice is C. So then let's look at the other question. And this talks about, look at the map. There's a place in the United States and a place in Morocco. So similar rock formations have been discovered in the United States and Morocco. These rock formations were formed at the same time and are made of the same types of rocks. What could explain how these rocks got so far apart? So how did they get so far apart? Most likely there's a plate boundary between here. We know there is one here, so it's also up here. And if they got far apart, we know that the plates were moving away from each other. So that's divergent boundary. So um, let's <clears throat> look through the possibilities. This says that there um, are parts of different plates. Check, we know that's true. The plates were sometimes pushed far apart by earthquakes. That can't happen because we know that earthquakes are caused by plate motion. And so we can eliminate A. B, 
the United States and Morocco are part of different plates. The plates floated away from each other across the ocean. We know they don't float because um, there is a soft, solid rock, which is mantle, which is um, underneath the outer layer, not water. So we can eliminate B. C says the United States and Morocco are parts of different plates. The plates slowly moved far apart as soft, solid rock from underneath got added to the edges of the plates over millions of years. From last class, that's, we know that that's the answer because rock is added to both um, plates and it moves slowly and it comes up from the mantle. But we're just gonna read D just to make sure. The United States and Morocco are parts of different plates. The plates slowly move apart as new plates form underneath got added between them. It's not a new plate. It's just part of rock is added. So C is the answer to that question. So um, I'm going to have us look at what our uh, key concepts and what we're going to be thinking about um, th today. So we um, know that we uh, really focused on these two last class as well as um, that the earth plates move on top of soft solid layer of rock called the mantle. And these are the three vocabulary words that we really talked about last class. So we're real, really still focusing on what happens to plates and, man, and the mantle at plate boundaries. So we're going to be reading an excerpt from an article today to help us to understand more um, kind of solidify our understanding about uh, convergent and divergent boundaries.